Good horde, morning, good afternoon, and a very good evening to you all. Ladies and gentlemen, welcome back to Resident Evil 1 with Morris. And at the end of the last part, we just, it's just getting serious, it's getting a little bit serious for me. We're entering um, a totally new area, an area that is unfamiliar to me. I'm getting given a lot of blue herbs for whatever reason. Um, I don't know whether it's like preparation for like another snake battle, I don't know. I don't know what the problem is, but yeah, I went back and got a few herbs um, in between this and the last episode. Uh, I didn't didn't want to record it because it wasn't. <laughs> it's not very exciting watching me go back and forth. You have to watch me go back and forth enough during the actual video, so just to get some herbs. Nah, I don't think so. Nothing major. Nothing major in this toilet. Let's move on. The bathtub is filled with muddy water. Will you unplug it? Ah, uh, I guess. <laughs> I don't want to, but I will. Better give me something good. Ooh, hello. That looks like it might be useful. I'll take the C room key. Okay. Yeah, I kept the other key on me just in case. I think it might be... I don't know if this is technically the... This isn't the mansion, is it? No, this is the guardhouse. So, I, I don't know. Maybe it's not worth having that key on me. I don't think it will actually open anything up here. Post a comment, because I need to know that. <laughs> ah, carving of the moon. Anything else on here? No. Okay. You gotta check these things. You gotta check these things all day. Alright. Now, I heard a little bit of shuffling, a little bit of rustling out here. So I'ma just uh, unload a little bit. You're just in my way. You're just plain in my way. Oh yeah, when I was going back and forth getting the herbs, um, I got mauled by dogs several times. So you know that's not fun to watch. You know you don't want to just see me rip my own face off in anger. I mean nobody wants to see that. Nobody wants to see that. Not too many times anyway. Would you auto aim, please? Hey! Hey! Getting frisky. Oh, I don't like not being able to see him. Is he dead? Eh, he looks pretty dead to me. Well, he looked dead anyway, but uh, even more so now. The desk is locked. Can you use the lockpick? Yes, I will. What do we got? Shells. Everybody. I mean, is this like. You know, I mean, I was a kid in the 90s, so I don't know, but did, for people who were kind of, you know, sort of at least in their 20s, um, back in the 90s, I mean, is, was it commonplace just to keep shotgun shells in your desk drawer? I mean, I don't... It's, it doesn't happen a lot nowadays. I'm not saying it doesn't happen at all, but it doesn't happen a lot. Uh, nothing unusual. Oh, there's a book on here as well. What do we get? What is a book of? The Red Book. Well, there's definitely more to it than that, so let's just have a look at this here. No, not combine it. Combine it with shotgun shells. Nothing important. There's got to be something in it. Hello. All pages are blank. What's it for? That's weird. But hey, I'll keep it on me. Maybe I'll keep a journal. You know? On my time here. I mean, it's way better. I might as well just grab a pen and keep this book on me rather than keep doing the whole typewriter thing. I mean, that's just a waste of time. Okay, okay. You don't fool me. You don't fool me. We need this, don't we? We gotta put that over there. I know what that's for. <laughs> uh, little things, you know? They just keep coming back to me. I've completed this game zero times. Honest to God, completed it zero times. I'm no expert. I mean, Resi 4 is, you know, <laughs> where my, um, I mean, I wouldn't even call it expertise, really. <laughs> but that's, that's where, you know, the majority of my knowledge lies. Can I not just push it a little bit this way? Thank you. 
Not very precise, but I think that should do it. I don't even know what that's for, but I know... Wait a second, there's a little bit of hole there. Is that better? Ah, that looks about right. Well, maybe a little bit to the right. I don't want to mess this up, whatever the hell this is. There you go. Perfect. <laughs> Useless. <laughs> I don't know what could possibly come out of there, to be honest. Okay, you've got to be joking. You've got to be joking. You've got to be. You've just got to be. Spiders? Ah, I gotta play this with the lights on. <laughs> oh, I feel. Oh, even my hands feel weird. I don't like spiders. Spiders are like my. You know, I mean, it's pretty common fear, I guess, but it's like a proper thing. I can't handle him. Like, I'm not exaggerating. Like, oh yeah, I don't like him much. I'm gonna put this away. But seriously, whenever I see one, I freak the fuck out. I just don't like him. It's just, it's the way they move. I don't get it. I don't understand it. I don't want to understand it. I hate it. <laughs> Eeshk. I'm gonna grab my shotgun. I ain't taking no chances. Actually, I'm gonna mix the shells together, I think. I'm gonna just take everything. I'm, I'm not taking any chances with the friggin' spiders. Horrible little things. Big ones are actually okay, you know? Because they're better, because they're slow. It's like, you know, they don't really give a fuck. They just, you know, they just hang out. It's fine. Whatever you want to do is fine. <laughs> but then the little ones, the ones that like scurry across, you know, it's just, ugh. I don't even want to talk about it, really. <laughs> I just want to... Ooh, more shells. I mean, you know, I guess this is why people keep shotgun shells in their in their desk drawers in case of spiders. I can understand that. I should do that in real life. Where's the freaking shotgun? Ah. Alrighty. Yeah, I don't want to take any chances with this. I have no inventory spaces, but whatever. Actually, I'll put the pistol away. God, how long are we spending on this? Like, ten minutes sorting out my inventory. <laughs> this is another reason why I wanted to extend the length of the episodes. Because, you know, I do a lot of this, so... You know. Keeps things a bit... You get a bit more content, you know? <laughs> uh, alrighty, let's, let's blow some spider's legs off, shall we? I can deal with that. Oh, these must be the things that poison you, then. That's why I'm getting so many blue herbs. Ah, shit. Get down! <laughs> Sit down, what? How is it? Ow! No, 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 no. I'ma blow your legs off. I'ma blow all your legs off. Oh, there's little ones as well. Oh my god. Oh, I'm poisoned. Oh, shit on me. Shit on me, sunshine. What is this? These are little ones. These are worse than the big ones. I don't care if it's broken. What am I supposed to do? <laughs> What the balls? A three ball. Okay, good, good, great, great. So glad we established that the three ball is in this room for no reason. I'm not leaving without a key item. Oh, I can step on him. Well, that's okay. I don't really do that in real life, so... What is that? Not a clip. I really gotta heal up. <laughs> I really, really gotta heal up. Is there anything else on there? Oh god, these things. There's something on this table as well. Oh god, it just... Ugh. God, he wants to like spiders. Come on. There's another guy who had a pet spider once. I mean, that's just... I don't know. It's just, that's just weird to me. blue herb down here, so we may just want to invest. I should wait till I'm nearly dead. Oh, god damn it. Oh, well, there's one in the save room, I guess. What did I even need that room for? A clip? Is that all you're giving me? Uh, must be something to do with that pool table, I imagine. Maybe that's a puzzle. <laughs> Alright, well, I'll chuck the ink ribbons away. Chuck the clip away. 
I'll take one of my blue herbs. And I guess I'll wait until I'm like nearly dead, and then I'll use that. It's probably a really bad idea, but uh, that's what we're going with. <laughs> that makes sense, right? Keep my shotgun on me as well. Kind of thinking I might need it. Might as well take these in case I forget. Whoa, what? Are these like constantly here? Because if they are, then fuck waiting for. Oh no. I thought there... Well, I might as well use one then. I thought there was uh, barely any there. Fair enough. Be nice if they grew back. <laughs> That'd be handy. Okay, so there's really only one. Well, I guess I'll go back in that room and uh, like check out the rest of it. Because there's got to be more to it, I think. My inventory's getting a little messy again. <laughs> God, I spent half my life doing inventory systems. <laughs> There's nothing worse than a complicated inventory, to be honest. Then again, is there anything on this bar? Bartender, barkeep, your finest scotch on the racks with a twist. I normally have it on the rocks. I gotta say, <laughs> I'm an on the rocks kind of guy. Anything else in the dark places of this room? It's still broken. A six ball. A nine ball. Looks like a clock dial. Three, four, five. Some kind of code. Is three, four, five. What's the significance of that? Three, four, five. Well, I should be able to remember that. To be honest, oops, I should be able to remember that code. <laughs> three, four, five. And we had a three, six, and nine ball. So. Yeah. I mean, I only thought it went up to eight. But whatever. <laughs> oh no! Don't move that. That's perfect. <laughs> Why it's there, but feels right, you know. Please, no more spiders. Please, no more spiders. Yeah, we're doing okay. Thought I heard something, but nope. <laughs> Alrighty. What is it? Well, let's check the rest of the room first before we start. Good God, there's a lot of doors happening around here. She, whoa, whoa, what is that thing? Something happened. Something happened. Oh God, something happened. I don't know whether to take this or not. I'll take it. Okay, run. Jesus. Freaking like hornets, what is this? The pain is knocking around. <laughs> so what if I go back in there? Are they just gonna freaking attack me again? Oh, they must have gone back. Maybe they maybe it's like time or something. It's locked. Oh, is this what I need three, four, five for? Three, four, five. Hey, that worked nicely. <laughs> Sweet. What do we got? Jesus, I thought that was another hornet. <laughs> Just lying in wait. No, I'm not going to take the empty bottle, actually. I got a lot of stuff on me. And I don't know whether that's necessary. Something is written on the wall. One plus two equals three. Well, 
Now we're getting a bit too complicated. 3 plus 4 is 7, 2 plus 4 is 6. Yeah, no, I think I, I think I understand that. What was that? <laughs> a few more empty bottles, I think. Water equals 1. Red equals 2. <laughs> is that is not another type of liquid, just red. Purple equals 3, green equals 4. All right. So there's got to be some significance to that. Look at this friggin' chemistry class up in this. Are they all empty bottles? They are all empty bottles. Well, I'm not. I'm gonna leave that for now. I'm just gonna explore a bit more. Because, you know, I don't want to jump the gun with that. That looks like an actual proper puzzle, so I don't want to <laughs> just dive right in and get it wrong. As could very well happen. It's locked. Plate says 003. Will any of my keys... Oh, hang on a second. I never checked this out. Nothing important. Ah, oh, 002. So close. <laughs> oh well. So what about this room? Do I have a I don't have a map, do I? It won't move at all. It seems to be obstructed from the opposite side. Well that's interesting. I don't actually have anywhere else to go. Or do I? No, I don't have anywhere else to go. <laughs> um Well, for, oh, hang on. There's something else. I didn't fully check out this corridor. God, there's nothing worse in these games when you just... It's happened in Silent Hill recently. When you just hit a, like, brick wall. You just go, what do I do? <laughs> ah, 002. Sweet. And another statue. That I can't get past. I'm guessing I don't need that key again. There's also nothing worse than accidentally pressing no when when discarding keys. <laughs> it's like, oh god damn it! Can't I just throw it away at any time? Oh hello, is that a map? Dormitory sketch. Can you take it? It's just a, not even an official map. It's just somebody drew it. Alright, so that looks like a giant room there that we couldn't get in. Um, a couple more. Not much left in this area. This is like all for the helmet key, I imagine, as well. Let's see! Shells again! What is that? <laughs> Why? Don't tell me they didn't know something was going to happen. Come on. Plan 42 report. Oh, Plan 42. Of course! That's what it's all for. That's a boss, isn't it? Four days have passed since the accident, and the plan to point... The plan to point 42 is growing amazingly fast. It has been affected by... Effected or affected? Or does that not matter? It's been affected by the T-Virus differently than other plants have been. It shows a unique shape in addition to its size. Looking at the way it behaves, it is now difficult to determine what kind of plant it was originally. Unfortunately, we didn't write that down, so we have no way of knowing. There are two ways in which Plant 42 gathers nutrition. The first one is through its route that reaches into the basement. Immediately after the accident, the scientists went mad and broke the water tank in the basement for no reason whatsoever. Now the basement is filled with water. It is easily imaginable that some chemical elements were blended in the water and promotes the incredibly fast growth of Plant 42. Another part of Plant 42 from the basement grows through the duct and hangs... Oh, that's where all the vines through this area, then. It hangs down like so many bulbs from the ceiling of the first floor. Many vines come out of those bulbs, and they are the second resource for its nutrition. Once sensing movement, Plant 42 shoots its vines around the prey and holds it. Jesus. Then it starts sucking up blood using the suckers located at the back of its vine. It also has some intelligence. It blocks the door by... Ah, that, that'll be what... That's, that's what, it, what is obstructing the big door, then. 
It blocks the door by twining its vines around it, especially when it captures prey or is sleeping. Several staff members have already fallen victim to this. May 21st. Henry Sarton. Okay. Well, I'm not going to fall victim to it. I hope, he says. I think I probably use the acid round, I can imagine. Whoa, whoa, whoa. Don't just start haphazardly moving stuff, Jill. You can hurt yourself. What am I supposed to... These even move. What is the point of that? <laughs> oh, okay. Oh, okay. Oh, hello. Behave yourself. Is that the basement then? No, I don't want to go down there yet. <laughs> There's a door back here. It's creepy ass music. Oh. <laughs> Boom! Sit down, son. You ain't need it anymore. Sorry, no, I don't want to check the shotgun. <laughs> I'm perfectly aware of what a shotgun does. Is that more shells in the sink? Oh, no, that's a clip. <laughs> oh, well, that makes perfect sense, putting a clip in the sink. Anything in the toilet? Nothing special in the toilet. You can't blame me for checking, come on. Alrighty. Oh, well, I guess I'm gonna go into the basement. Actually, no, I'm not gonna go into the basement. I'm gonna save it! Ah, <laughs> oh, yeah, thank you very much for watching this episode. Well, I realize we're just we're coming past 20 minutes now, so. And I gotta get some freaking food! Because I am hungry. It's amazing how this game sucks up so many hours. Anyway. Thank you very much for watching this episode of uh, Resident Evil 1 with Morris. And I do hope you join me for the next one, guys. I hope to see you there. See you in a bit.